How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called intersection of two arrays. This is a question that's asked on leak code and it's asked by Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and Lyft. So it's a pretty popular question it seems. Problem description says given two arrays write a function to compute their intersection. So for example one if nums one is one two two one and nums two is two two we just want to output an array that contains only the number two. And for example two if nums one is four nine five and nums two is nine four nine eight four we want to output an array that contains nine and four. So if it's not clear, the intersection is basically just everything that nums one and nums two have in common. And so you can notice like in example one, uh, two appears in nums one twice and two appears in nums two twice. So we want to make sure that our output contains the number two, but it only contains it once. And as a quick note, each element in the result may, must be unique and the result can be in any order. So we don't have to worry about ordering them. Um, cool, so this problem isn't too bad. Um, typically whenever you have two arrays or you're trying to find duplicates of numbers, you're gonna to wanna to use a hash map. So I think a hash map or a hash set is probably a good thing to go with. In this case, we don't really care about storing anything with the number itself, so we could just use a hash set. So let's start, uh, get right into the solution. So let's make a hash set. Um, it's gonna store integers, right? We're going to call it set and we're going to set it to a new hash set of integers. And so now we're going to go through all the numbers in the first array, nums1, and we're going to add it to our set. So if our set dot contains, actually what we can do is we could just say uh, set dot add i because the set will actually take care of the fact if the number already occurs or not. So the set won't add it. It's smart enough to know not to add it if it already exists. So we could just say set that add i. And so now we're gonna make a hash set that's gonna contain just the intersection of the two nums arrays. So we'll say hash set integer intersection and we'll set that equal to do a new hash set integer. Cool. And so just to kind of back up for a second. So now we've populated our set with every unique number in nums1. And so I was trying to explain before, but set.addI is smart enough not to add the number if it already exists in our set. So now we're gonna declare something called intersection. And again, it's gonna be a hash set. And now we're just gonna go through nums2 and say, okay, if this number in nums2 is in our set, then we know that we have an intersection. So we'll add it to our intersection hash set. So we'll have another for each loop. We'll say for and i and nums2, nums2. And we'll just say if set.contains i, then we want to add it to our intersection. So we'll add i to our intersection. Cool, so now the last thing we need to do is actually format our output. So what we can do is we can make an integer array because that's what this is supposed to return. We'll call it result, I typically just call my variables uh, result if it's not super clear what we can name them. Um, like if it was something like finding the largest number, I would name it max number maybe. Um, so in this case, let's just call it result. We'll set it equal to a new integer. And we know that it should be the size of intersection. So we'll say intersection dot size. And now finally, all we need to do is go through all the numbers. But to do that efficiently, let's just make an integer called index and set that to zero. And now what we can do is we could just use an enhanced for loop or a for each loop again. So we'll say for int i in intersection. And what we want to do is we just want to place uh, in our result at index plus 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 so that it increments every time. Um, at the current index, we just want to place i, which will be one of the numbers in intersection. And finally, we just want to return our result. Oops, there we go. Let's see if this works. Awesome, it does. Let's check out our details. And leak code tells us, so we passed 60 out of 60 test cases and we're in the 47th percentile in terms of runtime. So that's how you find the intersection of two arrays in Java, guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Good luck on all your interviews and I'll see you guys next time.